If you come here to be a physiotherapist, what you will find is that not only are you learning both the techniques and the intellectual underpinning of it in physiotherapy, but you're mixing and learning alongside medical students and basic science students, which increases your breadth of understanding, your networking, your, your general outlook on life in a way which isn't possible in other more specialised schools. I do a lot of sport myself, um, so I've had some physiotherapy in the past and that's sort of why I first got interested in it, but then I realised there was so much more to it than that and it's just such a broad um, vocation that you can go into, it really appealed to me. The programme at Kings yeah, is still one of the, I would say it's still one of the best in, in the UK. Half our class went into the guys tower and they've got a hydrotherapy pool down there um, and we just got to sort of play around with the different floats and the different techniques that we've been learning about in theory and putting that into practice and that was a highlight for me. The strength of physiotherapy at King's is it's science-based teaching. We're justifying what we're doing and why we're doing it. I chose to say nutrition because I like the subject. It's a really broad subject. Um, so it's not just food, you get to do physiology, biochemistry and lots of other things. The emphasis that we have on nutrition here is particularly on understanding the scientific basis of nutrition uh, because I think unless you really understand uh, how the body's working you're not really going to be able to apply nutritional knowledge adequately. Now is really a great time to be studying nutrition as you're aware there are ever increasing numbers of people who are overweight and obese but at the same time there are a lot of people who are actually malnourished uh, and that's not just children in developing countries but also people in hospitals and care homes in this country. It's a great atmosphere here, um, it's a really small department, everyone gets to know everyone. If you're coming here to do pharmacy uh, you're doing so because you want to enter the profession as a pharmacist, uh, which is an extraordinarily well-paid profession with a very high level of employment. I think we have 100% employment of our graduates. I think the most important thing for me when choosing an undergraduate degree to study was that it was health related and so pharmacy, especially pharmacy at King's, was the perfect fit to that programme. King's offers a programme which is, integrates the science and the practice not just within the academic environment, but also bringing in leading clinical practitioners to help educate our students. In the fourth year, I took a course in chemical mediators of disease, and we looked at specifically inflammatory diseases like asthma and skin conditions that haven't been cured, but what are the possible targets that can cure these diseases? And it really opened me to sort of the future directions that the profession is going towards. There's a real opportunity here for healthcare professionals such as a pharmacist to have a, an influence on how patients use medicines. We get such a broad foundation of all the different background. We don't just get the clinical things, you get the knowledge behind it. So when you finish your degree at King's, most people to start off with go into clinical work, treating patients. You can set up your own business. You can do voluntary work overseas. You can become a teacher, you can do research. The huge different avenues that you can go into, I think are one of the really attractive aspects of the profession. King's is the leading department of nutrition in the country and it's in the heart of London and must surely be the first choice for any student.